All right, there, Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, and it's Sports Illustrated 1970. So let's see how we can get this uh, action in under or in the camera. Uh, well, that seems to be the best I can do for now. Let's roll some dice. And uh, let's see, we are in the bottom of the third inning. Score is four to two. Mets. The Mets scored four runs in the first, and the Pirates came back with four run, two runs in the bottom of the first, so it's four to two. And we are in the bottom of the third inning. It's Tom Terrific on the mound versus Steve Blass. It's going to be Hebner, Clemente, and Stargell. Hebner walked in his first at bat. Clemente struck out, and Stargell tripled. So let's see if Seaver uh, can get a one -two, have a one two three inning here, which would be nice. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at uh, Seaver, and that's not the one we want to look at. Let's see, we want to look at this one either. Here it is. All right, so we are, well, that's not it either. Here it is. All right, so we're going to look at the Seaver. I'm going to turn this over to the hitting versus righty. And here we're going to go to pitching. For Tom Terrific. All right, so there's 41. So he'll pitch here. Let's throw some dice. And that is going to be a 2 and a 6. So it's a 26. And the 41 and a 26 is a green. So that takes us to the batter, who is Richie Hebner. Richie Hebner is 20. Number 20, so we're going to look at that column 20, and you can see that from the top there, column 20. So let us roll again, see what happens, and it's going to be a 35 on column 20. 35 on column 20 is a ground ball out. Oh, 20 is a, what is it, was 30, 35, I believe it was. Whatever, no, 36, I don't know. It was a ground ball out. It's a ground ball out. 18, I looked at 18, but it's a fly ball or ground ball. So it's an out, and that's one way. All right, next batter is Clemente. We're going to take a look at Tom Terrific's card here, or his chart, if you will. We roll a 3, 8, 38. So 38 is going to be an X. So an X takes us to this chart right here, which is a wild pitch. Pass ball. Um, so I don't see uh, um, based on balls. X pitchers yellow card final result of the play. So I guess I guess we would roll again because there's nobody on base, so we're not going to get a result there. So let's let's roll again. There's nobody on base. And it's a 20 on Seaver, and it's a, a fly ball. So out number two, so Clemente flies out. And up comes Willie Stargell. That's a 33, Willie Stargell. Well, first you got to look at Seaver. A 33 is a green, which means we go to the batter. And Stargell is eight, number eight. We're going to roll again for Stargell. That's an 18. 18, and that is going to be a strikeout. The blue, the solid blue is a strikeout, so Stargell number 8 strikes out. Roll the 1 plus an 8. That's 18, and that retires the side. So Seaver did get his 1-2-3 inning, uh, just, how, just as we predicted. And we go to the top of the 4th using Sports Illustrated Baseball 1970 edition. All right, and it's going to be Tom Terrific leading off. So let's look for the pitcher for the Pirates. Here he is. Pitcher for the Pirates, and let's throw some dice. That's a 20 on Blast, and that is going to be a, a green. So we're going to go to the pitcher. Batting versus righty and lefty pitchers. Batting against righty and lefty uh, pitchers. 
And we're going to roll again for 41. See what that comes up, what that becomes. And it's a 26. 26 on column 41 is a fly ball. So that is one out. So Seaver lifts one to, to the outfield. We'll say it's center field. And um, all right, next batter is Tommy Agee. Tommy Agee is one for one with a single and a walk and a run scored. And that's a 35. You add the two whites, so it's a 35. And that's going to be a, a green. So we're going to go to Tommy Agee. Against a right-handed pitcher. You got to even have splits in this game. And Tommy A.G. is uh, number 20, so we have to roll again for him. And we got a 24. 24 under 20 is bounce to the shortstop. It's a ground ball out. Two away. So after a tough couple, uh, early, uh, or a tough start, um, Blast gave up four runs in the first. Seaver gave up two runs in the first. Both pitchers have settled down. And here comes Buddy Harrelson. And that's a 30, which is going to be a green, which says let's go to the batter. And we roll a 24 under 3, and that is a base hit single with a little star. We'll see what that means. This will tell us here. That is a single. All runners advance two bases, but there's nobody on base. So it's a two-out single for Buddy Harrelson, and that's his second single of the game. He's a switch hitter. Here comes Foy. Foy is singled and doubled, so he's got two hits. And here's a pitch from Blass. It's a 24, and that's going to be a green. So we are going to go to Foy, who is number, his number is five. You can see that at the, at the bottom. So we're going to go to column 5, and we roll a 12. That's going to be an automatic out, which is bounced to the... Uh, oh, he's a righty, so he could bounce to the third baseman, and that will retire the side. So no, no runs. One hit, and we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. All right. Move this over just a little bit. Let's move the lamp to the side and get my... There we go. And you know what? If I got rid of this, it'd probably be a little bit better. I don't need this big box here in the way. Let's move that. And picture starting picture charts. There we go. We don't need that there. I think you can see both of these things a little bit better now. All right, we're going to the bottom of the fourth. There's going to be Al Oliver, Gina Alley, and Manny Sanguin versus Tom, Tom Terrific. This is 1970. I'm using the actual scorecard that they used back in 1970 as well. As you can see, that Sports Illustrated scorecard. So let's go to Tom Terrific. And we're going to roll off the pitcher first. That's how you play this game. You roll off the pitcher first. On the bottom of the fourth, it's 4-2 to two Mets, and it's Al Oliver at the plate. And it's going to be a 15. A 15 against Seaver is a green, so that's going to take us to Oliver, batting against a right-handed pitcher. And Oliver's number was 16, so we'll roll again. That's a 21, a 16, 21, and that is a base hit single. The parentheses tells us that it's a single runner on first and second. A lot of information, but uh, single all runners advance one base. If there's a starting 
if if there is a runner starting a second base or first manager's decision there's none of that so it's a leadoff single for al oliver al oliver is two for two now he's got an rbi double in the first all right so here's gene alley let's grab tom terrific's chart and that is a 30 and the 30 is a green so we're going to go to the green on on Gene Alley. Gene Alley's number is 14, so his column is 14, and we roll a 16 on column 14, and that's a strikeout. So Seaver rears back and blows a fastball by Alley, and up comes Manny Sanguin. Not using any hit and runs or bunts just yet. I want to get a feel for the game. That's a 32, and that's going to be a green. So Sanguin the batter. Sanguin's number is a 35, and that's a 37 on 35, and that will be a strikeout. Back-to-back -back Ks, and Sanguin's not an easy customer to strike out. And here comes Bill Mazurowski. That's a 15, and on Seaver, a 15 is a green, so we're going to go to Mazurowski, and his number is nine so it's a 35 on column nine and that is lifted to center field over his tommy ag makes the catch and that retires the side so the pirates here in the bottom of the fourth they leave a runner and they score none one hit and we go to top of the fifth it's a little bit more of sports illustrated baseball